Welcome to episode 2 on how to make your own 5M server. Now, I appreciate all the feedback and positivity on episode 1. Today we're going to cover how to make an ESX server and a QB server. After today's episode, then it's strictly going to be universal throughout the three different frameworks. Whether it's installing scripts, cars, admin menus, etc. It'll all be universal. The first thing we're going to want to do is head to the first link in the description that gets us over to the 5M artifacts. This is basically the building blocks for your 5M server. I always get the latest recommended version unless you know you need a specific version. Once that downloads, go ahead and open it up. And now on your desktop, I already have one, but make a new folder. Name it whatever your server is actually going to be called. Mine's going to be ESX Text Server because this is going to be the ESX framework. Inside that folder, make another folder and name that one Server. And that's that. Now, inside that Server folder, take all these files that we just downloaded and drop them inside of there. So, once you've done that, you're going to want to locate fxserver.exe. This will initiate our server and start building it. So go ahead, double click that, run it, let it do what it needs to. Give it the access it requests as well. I'm going to drag it down just because I don't want to blur my IP. It'll pop you up into this window automatically. Now if you do not have a CFX account, you're going to have to go to the site and make one. And then you should see this window. You'll get an autofilled pin, link your account, and hit continue. Now this is basically your account for all of moderation and your server setup and ownership, everything. So that's what this account is. Now create your password, agree to the terms, and create your master account. And while we're here, go ahead and visit the second or third link. It's down there. The link for that XAMPP. This is what we need to get our database and everything for QB and for ESX. So download this. I already downloaded it earlier. But once you download it, you'll get a setup like this. Go ahead and run that setup. Tell it yes. You may get this. Just hit OK. Hit next. And you're only going to want to install PHP my admin and my SQL you can uncheck everything else just have this one and this one and then hit next and that'll get you into the install I already have it installed so I'm not going to do that once you install it it'll pop you into the window it'll ask you if, it, if you would like to launch it go ahead and launch it and when you're in here you'll see your my SQL it'll say start just click start and that's it now back to the setup go ahead and just continue name your server I'm gonna do ESX zips name it whatever you'd like yours to be now if you bought server files or have server files like a whole base already pre-built and you need to install it this will be your option existing server data all you need to do is click this locate the files and it'll do the rest of the work for you. I have server files and things available on my Discord. So if you're interested, just check it out. But today we're going to go into popular recipes and we're going to be doing ESX. So just click that. This path is perfect. It does what it needs to. Hit save and hit go to recipe deployer. Now this is basically just all the downloads and everything you'll need to set up your framework. You know, get property, cars, infrastructure, everything. Just click next. And now this is where you need to go get your server key. So click this key master right here and sign in. You sign in with the same CFX from earlier. And now I already have some, but you will not have any. Yours will say zero and zero. You're just going to want to go ahead and go over here and click new. I've got to trash one, so let me get rid of that. New server. Display name. I'm going to do, this is for your own records, by the way, so you don't have to do anything fancy. 
Now, this is where you need to find your IP address. So if you're on a server, a VPS, dedicated server, or home hosted, whatever it is, make sure you open the link to what is my IP on that device. And then copy your IPv4. That's what it's looking for. So go ahead, copy that, and paste it in here select the type of server that you're going to be running so if you're on a vps click that etc i'm home and then name it what it's supposed to be named let them know you're not a robot and generate your key so now copy that head back over to your license key on the ti sidemen paste it in there and run your recipe Now make sure that your XAMP is on before you run your recipe, otherwise it won't let you. If you run into issues, make sure that that's enabled and you'll be good to go. So let it do its thing. It's basically installing and building all the bricks for the foundations of your server. Perfect. So after that finishes up, just minimize this real quick. Hit next. This is basically the entire configuration file for your server. So where you'd set your name, the description of your server, you'd add your scripts, mods, or admins, etc. So just go ahead, hit save and run server. And it'll go ahead and start for you. Now a couple scripts may not run, like see, ESX HUD did not run, chat did not run, that's all right. This is the first time that our server is running. It needs a minute to build its infrastructure and do what it needs to do. Okay, so once nothing is moved for a while and you feel like it's built everything it needs to, you're no longer getting errors, go ahead and restart your server. Confirm. And as you can see, everything is building flawlessly. Your database is established. Still needs to build a few things, but you are ready to connect to the server. But before we do that, go ahead and head back to your test server. And this is where you start your server up from. Inside of here is your server base. In your base is everything of importance, such as your resources, cache, CFG. In core, you're going to have all of your ESX essentials. USX add-ons, jobs, mechanic jobs. This is all the base things you need for a server with scripts. This is your voice chat, database, etc. You're good to go ahead and launch 5M. I'm home hosted. I'm recording and everything, so it's going to get a little bit laggy for me. Might even crash. But right here, our server. ESX zips. You want to go ahead and connect. You may or may not have to restart your 5M or do an update. Just let it do what it needs to. Alright, let's create our character. Hit enter. And we're in here. So, this is a fully set up server. It's got clothing stores, everything. Banks, police stations, garages, impound lot, the whole nine yards. So in the next episode, I'm going to be showing you how to add your own custom clothing, scripts, cars, and everything that you can think of. Now if you fast forwarded to how to set up a QB core server, go ahead and click the first link in the description. It'll take you to the 5M artifacts, and we're going to use the latest recommended, but if you have anything specific, then you can go ahead and find that. Just download the latest recommended, and while that's downloading, go to your desktop, and on your desktop, make a new folder and name it what you want to name your server. Inside of that folder, make one more folder and name that server. Now locate the files that you just downloaded, open that up. And you're going to want to drag and drop everything from in here into that folder that you named server. Now, open that up. Locate your fx server.exe. Double click that. And this will run the launcher. I'm going to drag it out of the way just so my IP doesn't leak. 
allow access and that will automatically bring you to this so if you do not have a TX admin I'll have it linked the CFX site for you to make one once you link it and make your account it will autofill this for you and you just hit link you're then brought to this page you just click continue so this is your account that your server is tied to ownership and everything so you want to make sure you have a good password if you set that agree to the terms and create your master account so now we're actually going to get ready to start our server up hit next change your name to whatever you'd like your server to be called mine qb zips and so if you already have a database that you've bought from someone or it's pre-built you're gonna go to this option and then find those files if not and you're doing this from this ground up just go to popular recipe and QB core framework this will go to your users just hit save and go to recipe to player so this is going to be all the scripts and base things you need to set up your database and everything. Speaking of which, if you do not already, you're going to want to download XAMPP and you do this on the VPS. If you're on a VPS, if you do it on your own computer, you do it there. You just download that and when you download it, you'll be brought to this. It'll give you the application. You just hit yes. When you open it. You might get this error just click continue then you're going to go to next and you only need to select my sql and php my admin this one and this one unselect everything else click next and just finish your install once you install it and you actually open the application you're going to want to see your my sql and right here there will be a start button just click start and then it will look like this so after that you're ready to go back to your server deployer hit next and we got to go one last step and get our key master so here we're gonna have to get our IP address which you can get from myip.com make sure you get this from the device that you're hosting the server on so don't copy it from your home computer if you're hosting it on a VPS and you're going to want to get your IPv4 so go ahead connect or copy that and then go back here go to your key master sign in with your CFX account and yours will be empty zero zero but I've got things so basically all you're going to need to do is go here click new server for your own records whatever it's called and then you're going to want to paste you're going to want to paste your IP address in this line then server type if you're dedicated VPS whatever you are select the right thing and then name whatever it is and then verify you're not a robot generate and this is how you get your keys so copy this back to your server deployer paste in your key and click run recipe now this basically is going to build your server for you completely from the ground up and you're gonna have a completely functional QB server so after that installs it's gonna pop you into this window just minimize that for now go back and click next this is your server config where you change the name for your server, license key, your description, everything. As well as ensure your scripts, add admins, etc. Just hit save and run server. And now for the first time your server might not run everything properly. A couple scripts might not work. That's completely normal. You just want to like let it do its thing. So when you reach point where nothing really does anything go ahead and click restart confirm that and upon the restart you should see no errors and everything should be good 
And now once you see authenticated with CFX Nucleus, you're good to go ahead and launch 5M and connect to your server. Now back to our file structure real quick, just so you guys know. Here's your server name. This is the files we dragged earlier. And this is all of your server files. So go into here, into your base, and your resources, your CFG, everything is all right here. So your QB, this is all your QB things. This is all the stuff for infrastructure. These are MLOs, and then these are just the default regular CFX. You're good to connect. You can either search for it, or for me, I'm on home hosted, I can just go here and hit connect. I'm going to have to download a few resources, but as you can see, connect just is like any other server. Alright, let's make our character. Literally, Barbados, sure. Mail and is eighty seven. Eight character. Morningwood Boulevard. Alright, here's us. Head out here in your little apartment. Da -da -da. Go outside. And just like that, we have set up our QB server. Now mine's a little laggy because I'm on my own PC, but as you can see here, got everything. Markets, jobs, all of the above. Now that's going to do it for this tutorial. In the next one, I'm going to show you how to add clothes, add cars, scripts, and pretty much anything else I didn't cover. But if you did enjoy, smack the thumbs up button. New videos very, very, very soon. I might record them right after this, literally. Not too sure, but I'll see you in the next one. Peace.